Hello, fellow classmates from multicultural counseling class, and um, I'm just experiencing uh, one of the activities from our, my grandmother's hands, and it was it was pretty profound, and um, I really got interested in um, the part of the book when it was talking about resilience and how. Resilience is like learned and, you know, we have this idea that resilience comes from I pulled myself up on my bootstraps and I made it happen and uh, just learning that resilience really is, it comes from the, the relationships we have, the people who raised us, the love, the people that we love that are around us and we are taught and like helped and we learn from each other how to be culturally resilient. And um, thinking about resilience, I did the um, the activity in Grandmother's Hands where I imagine, I imagine one of my uh, ancestors. And it was really strange because I had never, I thought of an ancestor I would never think about. My grandpa Harry died when he was 49 a long time before I was born. And then his son, my dad, died when he was 43. And in thinking about the resilience part, I just realized that, like, they didn't have the cultural resilience that I was blessed with. Like, my dad and grandpa, for some reason or another, didn't have that, like, social support that they needed to be resilient and they didn't know how to do it and they died young and I think a lot about that I fear dying young and following in their path but when I was thinking about that I realized that like I have a different story like I was raised by different people and a bunch of really amazing complex powerful people had a great large hand in raising me and they gifted me with the resilience that got me here to this program. And so it's really healing. So I did a, the activity to imagine one of my ancestors. I, I imagined Grandpa Harry. And my, I've only seen a few pictures of my Grandpa Harry. And he looks grumpy. And he died of a heart attack in his 40s. So I just imagined him so grumpy. But when I sat... And imagine my ancestor. I saw Grandpa Harry, and he was happy and proud of me, and like he felt loving. And then I saw my dad, and he was also happy and proud and loving. And I feel like through the reading and this activity, I kind of realized that like I'm breaking that. I'm breaking that like. <clears throat> that generational trauma caused them to die early. I had the social gifts and the resilience to be able to break that, and that's why they were happy. And they were kind of pre thanking me for, you know, stopping the trauma at me, not going to go to my son. You know, the, the cycle of, like, depressed, bathing men, ends with me, and that's why I feel like I was feeling such a warm feeling from the inner, the, the spirits of my grandpa and dad for breaking that, and um, it was rad. I also really enjoyed um, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's speech, and that was, that was so cool, and um, it really reminded me of, I spent five years in my 20s living in Brazil alone and I made so many friends but really once I became good friends with people I noticed that like my Brazilian friends were really really like it, they cared a lot about being able to change the narrative to me about like the stereotypical Brazilian and you know they wanted to show that, that the Brazilian was different than like the you know the like the tribal 
samba dancing, capoeira doing Brazilian. And so I, I was just, it was really interesting how many Brazilians were constantly showing me how different and complex their culture was. And at the same time, I was a foreigner. And when I was there, uh, George W. Bush was our president, and I was, I spent so much time trying to change the narrative of the classic American, like, I wanted people to understand, like, no, we don't all just love capitalism and George Bush, like, I explained to them, dude, I come from the land of hippies, Northern California, my mother bawled her eyes out when George W. Bush won, thank God my mother never had to see our current Donald Trump, <laughs> she would have broken her heart. I don't, I don't gotta get into politics, but it just was, um, it was really important, it was really cool, um, you know, and, and, yeah, and when I was, when I was in Brazil, I just quickly realized that, like, there was all the same kinds of people that are in the U.S., like, it's all the same, like, every culture is, like, different with their, like, angry people and violent people, and, you know, it's, like, there is no, like, thing, you know, we're all so complex, and uh, being in Brazil just made me realize that, like, every country doesn't have, like, a thing that they do, you know, kind of like she was saying that, just how stereotypes grow. Yeah, so I got out of the reading, it was really awesome, and I also got into the Pare book a little bit, too, but... I think I've talked enough, and I really like the part, the part of the book, just continuing to talk about the beginner's mind, and staying curious, and not commenting too early, which is something I do, and I think I've recorded for too long, but it's my post, it's a great week of readings, so I was really excited, thanks, cheers.